Hello, uh, everybody from YouTube. Okay, so today I'm going to go a little more in depth into the wiring on one of these buggies, uh, one of these GY6 150s. Um, this buggy here that I'm getting ready to show you here, um, I'm completely rewiring the whole thing. Um, basically, the harness was completely uh, screwed up with by somebody that obviously didn't know anything about how to wire one of these buggies. I'm right now in the middle of wiring uh, the ignition system back up to it and putting some headlights and a taillight back into this. But I wanted to go over the ignition systems because I know everybody has problems with these uh, ignition systems. And they're very simple, okay? Um, there's, two, there's two styles of ignition systems. And, uh, they're, you know, of course, there's the DC and the AC. A lot of guys want to find out how... Um, what the difference is between the AC and the DC, um, it's not a whole lot of difference, but I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera around and I'm gonna start explaining. You don't wanna see my face, my ugly mug. You wanna see what I'm trying to show you what to do in very simple layman's terms, okay? Um, so I'm gonna back off here. I'm gonna show you the buggy I'm working on. And then I'm gonna go a little more in depth about uh, the CDIs and uh, which ones I prefer and uh, how I hook them up. And once you get this part solved, then the next part is very simple. You just gotta get the charging system working. But that's another story and another time, and I'll do another, uh, I'll do another uh, video on that. But right now, I just wanna give a guy, you guys out there uh, uh, what you need to know on the physical buggy, uh, what you need to wire in very simple layman's terms to get it running just to get it started so you know that you don't have, you know, just to get the spark there so that you can start working on your next phase, which is getting fuel to it. Uh, once you get those two things, the buggy will run. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and start explaining these CDIs. I have them on, on the back of the buggy here, but I'm gonna back off here and I'm working on this, this uh, uh, Trailmaster 150 XRS. And uh, you can see that I'm currently working on a spaghetti of mess, but it's really not that complicated. And I'm just running the key, uh, running the wires up to the ignition switch. And I'm running brake lights and uh, headlights and a, a tail light up to it. And that's all I'm really going to do to this buggy. This one here, I've already ran the headlights up to it. I've already worked on all of the ignition system on it and the and the switch to switch on the headlights and tail lights uh one thing i got to do on this one is i'm, I'm going to use this tail light uh it was cheap uh, it was about uh 11 bucks uh, i do have to redo uh the tip on it there for the brake light but um everything else except that's hooked up um i'm gonna have to go back into the box here and uh, I've, got, I've still got to hook up the uh, air cleaner, but I'm not going to get into that one right now. This one runs fine. Um, everything's been replaced on it. Uh, I put new brake system in it. It's got new calipers, new uh, new rotors all the way around it. It's got the new br emergency brake. I'm getting ready to install on this one here the the new emergency brake and the cable on this one. But let's just get a little more in depth into this into these CDIs. So when you're looking at the CDIs, you're thinking, well, which one is a, which one is the uh, uh, AC and which one is a DC? Well, this is a DC. And you can see what happens to a DC uh, CDI when you hook it up to an AC system, okay? It still has, you can see in it, let's see if I can, still has two prongs in that one side right there okay every 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 cdi has two prongs on that side and the ac has two of them and you can see this look at what this one says dc cdi this is the one that i got with the ac cdi um so what I want to show you the difference is, is 
is that uh, on an AC, you have your hot, and then you have your kill, okay? That one there is a kill. That one kills the, that one goes to a kill switch. Like if you have a kill switch up to the, up to the front of the buggy, and you, and you wanna just kill it, that's what that wire does, okay? That, that, that kills it. Um, I'm not an expert on everything that is about these, but I do know one thing that I've always been able to do, and I've I've done a lot of these buggies, okay. And this is for this is for the guy that has these at home, okay. And that you're just you got your first one, and you bought it, and you got a great deal on it, and you don't know what to do with it. So um, I'm going to take this one here, this other this DC, out of the uh, bag here. So give me a second here. set this aside over here for right now okay now I've got that so you can see that the two bigger ones when they're bigger like this one and like this one, that's a DC unit. This is AC because it's smaller. Even though they all look like they hook up the same with the same harness and everything like that, they're very different, okay? If you hook up this, this one, to an AC driven wiring harness, you're gonna end up with this, a blown CDI. And you're gonna go, what the hell happened here? Well, it's what happened is that the power source on this on this AC comes from your directly from your from your alternator or from your uh, uh, stator, as to where on a on a on a DC this wire right here that one that I've got my finger pointing to that wire is your hot wire and it goes right to the battery. Okay, so that's a difference and you don't even use this wire here that wire is just disconnected okay then you have your ground and uh you've got your uh one of these terminals here is your your trigger and the other one goes to your coil okay and we'll look we'll look over the buggy here you know i don't want to misinform anybody until we're actually going through it here but i know it's it's uh I think it's either these two right here or it's these two and that one there but we'll go through it and I'll, I'll show you how you how you wire it up here um, so when you're hooking up your DC in order to just get your buggy fired up is all you have to do is hook up that wire to a 12 volt source that's going to bring power to your to your whole ignition system and then we're going to go through here the wires on the back of the buggy here so I'm going to push this buggy forward and uh, I'm gonna grab me a chair here. I'm gonna sit down here and I'm gonna carefully go through this, this wiring system here that I've already put together on this one for the most part. Okay, so, uh, let me find my CDI. Here's my CDI. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, on my unit here, and I, I just buy these little pigtails, and they're four or five bucks to, to get the, the new pigtails to solder back in to the old wiring harnesses. So, as what you have here is you have... Um, you have your hot wire that I've been telling you about. This is this is the hot wire. And you see I just have a hot wire hooked up. This one here goes nowhere. This one goes nowhere. Just you can cut it all the way off. Then you have your ground. 
that goes to the grounding system. And then you have your trigger and your, uh, and your uh, coil wire. So um, let me see if I can do this one handed. I can always put this tape back so I can give everybody exactly how uh, one of these guys go. So give me a second here and I'm going to unwrap this wire. I wrapped it pretty good, but I got to, this, this video is kind of a second thought after I did all this thinking, you know, I'll just, uh, I'll just go through all this and show everybody how this works. Let's see if I can untape it enough to get the colors from the stator. I mean, from the, uh, CDI uh, so you can see where the, the other wires go. Okay, so. Okay, so we got, uh, let's see if that's enough. Okay, so. So when you're looking at the, uh, it's still not enough. So I want to make sure I, I tell you guys how to do this right. And as long as you keep them all a record of how all this goes together, then you're going to be fine putting one of these together. So, and I've never been able to not get one running. I mean, they're all pretty simple. Okay, so you've got your hot wire to your to your two number two okay i'm gonna just set this here so you got your hot wire to your number two then you got your your uh let's see here so this one here even though it's green on this one is it used that's another one that isn't used because this is a four wire harness so i'm not even going to use this one either so these two wires aren't even used Okay, so you have your you have your red wire you have your uh, red wire, and that's going to go. Okay, so and okay, so the white where this white wire here is in that position on your on your. Uh, let's see if I can do this here somehow. on that number bottom that bottom position there that's going to come off your magneto from your flywheel so you got to always make sure you have that one that one is the one that goes to the magneto that's your trigger okay that's your trigger wire and then you have the white one i mean then you have your uh red one don't want to confuse myself here yep that red one goes i've just uh it goes to a black and white wire on this one that wire goes over to your your coil and then you have the ground wire that you ground out to your your wiring harness this has got to be ground back out to your wiring harness so uh, you got to find a green wire on your harness a green wire on your harness to make sure this wire is going back to it don't matter how how screwed up the freaking uh harness is as long as you got this one going back to the harness uh as a ground okay and you've got your you've got your um and then you got your uh your uh cdi grounded now on this one here this black wire which is going to be this top top wire so you got your you've got your uh white wire is going to be your trigger and then you got this wire here is going to be going to, that one goes to your coil and then this one here is your ground for your cdi so you got your ground to your cdi you've got your uh trigger and you got your coil wire this wire is not used you don't use it don't worry about it just like this one here you don't need it on a dc you just need to you just need to be able to get power to that one because you have your ground over here 
So you gotta get power here, ground here, trigger, coil. Then from your coil, you gotta get a ground back to your to your uh, uh, your harness. And you don't even have to have a harness. You can make your har your own harness up from this, okay? Just to get it to turn over and fire a plug. So once you get that done, then you hook up your you can hook up your your coil to your plug. And I'd say take your plug out of your your uh, your uh, or find a plug that'll fit into your to your uh, spark plug wire and ground ground the bottom of the plug down here as you turn it over. And of course, you can turn it over with a screwdriver right here. You can just ground these two off right here and turn the whole thing over and uh, see if it, see if you get spark. And at that point in time, you should have spark coming to your to to your uh, uh, coil and to your plug. That's that's how simple this is. And once you get once you figure that out, then you can just take your power, your power like I'm doing right here. I'm just running this power straight up to my ignition. So I'm using for everything on my on my on my uh, everything that I'm using up to my front of my buggy is this, I keep it very simple. I've got like uh, one, two, three, four, five wires, and three of them, three of the wires basically is. So I've got my I've got my my uh, power source when the key is on. This is my power source at all time. This one right here. And then this one here is my power source all the time. So this one has got hot to it 24 seven all the time. And then this one right here runs to my starter. My starter solenoid back here, you can see it's tied in right here. So I got my hot wire running from the key up there to my starter. So when I turn the key to the start position, it it energizes this power to my solenoid once I get it up there. And as long as I've got my battery hooked up and my starter hooked up, and then I've got this guy, I've got this uh, this other side of this 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 uh, solenoid hooked up and grounded to the green harness, main harness. Then it's going to turn the battery over. It's going to turn the starter over. So once you get all that done, it's very simple uh, to do to just get your uh, solenoid over here, and you got your key power, which what I've done here is that I've got my white power source. This is my main power source after the key. So only this is only energized when the key to the to the uh, CDI. This is only energized when the key is in the on position. Not the full time power on the other side of the key. There's three prongs on the key. There's a main power, power when the key is on, power in start mode. And uh, that's how I wire. There's only three wires that you need to wire to the key for power. And then I run everything off of the main power source on the key for my lights, to go to my light switches, to my brake, my brake, uh, my brake switch, and my brake light. And then I just run wires back, back here after I get all my, after I get all my other sources that I want to power on the buggy. I just run back here for my brake light. You know that's what the ex that's what the other wires are for in this harness is to run back up to my brake light. You know right here, it's going to go on back here, and I'll have a power source that will be full time when the key is on, going to my brake switch at my main at my at my master cylinder. You know that will have power going to the brake switch and then power coming out. So when you push the brake, it'll energize the brake and and light the brake. And then when I have my switch on, see, I've got a switch up there already installed and power when the key's on, that's my light switch. So that when I'm, when I turn that switch on, my lights, my tail light and my front lights come on. And I'm only doing that with five wires, five or six wires. Uh, looks like uh, six wires is all I use. I just use these six wires to run the whole buggy.
uh, six wires to run the whole buggy on that harness. Because you don't need a whole lot on these buggies. So um, that's that part. Now the e the other part on this is the is the rectifier, and I'll just go through this a little bit myself. And make sure that you always have at your main at your main power source uh, a fuse, so you don't burn your harness up. All right, you rather I'd rather burn a fuse, and this is just temporary for me right now. I've got it actually harnessed that a, a fuse holder I'm going to put back in here, but this buggy didn't have it. So, I, you know, they lost the fuse holder. Everything else is there except the fuse holder. So I'm going to put a new fuse holder in. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the rectifier now. Uh, these are very simple, too. This, this rectifier is basically a two-wire stator. Comes Two wires come off the stator. So you got these two wires that come off the stator, the yellow and the white. Then you have your power, 12 volt source. So on on these little four wire systems like these guys here, you've got uh, you got your ground that goes back to the main harness. Very simple, ground goes back to the main harness, and then you get this to go into your 12 volt main circuit. You know that that powers up your key up front for your all all the time. It's all the time on 12 volts. Okay. Um, and you, and you run this red wire right into that red, red circuitry. It goes right back over here to, through this fuse and it charges your battery. <laughs> so all your system runs through this one wire coming off your starter through this, through this fuse for your battery. So you, you just got to make sure that on your, on your rectifier, you got your charge, your ground. And then you got your CDI on your same unit on your same circuit, 12 volts. This is a, a, a CD a D, a D, DC unit, and that's why I love these guys. That's why I love DCs because everything can be 12 volt. I don't, I don't like having an AC unit, and the reason why uh, I don't like these AC units, CDIs, is because in order to get power, you have to have power coming off of your alternator. Power coming off your alternator. This harness on this buggy was actually an AC, and as all I did was was uh, uh, cut the wiring to the DC unit and rewired it through the key uh, on a DC. That's all I had to do. I could still use the same rectifier, and, and it's very simple. Uh, but the one difference on an AC unit is that you have to have both of these wires you have to have the up low the lower one get that. you have to have the lower one and the and the power you got the power and then your kill so you have to have power going to both of, you have to have power going to to both of these units okay coming out and going in and then going through your kill but this is all this is this this power source is running off of a uh, ac and this one here runs off a of DC. This runs off at of 12 volts. This one's running off 120 volts. That's why you'll get. That's why you'll get this if you hook up a DC unit to an AC power source on your buggy. So your AC CDIs run directly off your stator, and DC these DCs run directly off your battery. They're much easier, the DCs are much easier to use, much easier to work with because you can find spark much easier than you can on an AC unit. The buggy actually has to be turning over and it has to have a fairly decent RPM. You know, it's got to get up and going to get the AC going. So you have to have a good battery in the, in the buggy all the time so it spins the crank quickly enough at startup to start producing the AC power. And then the minute you stop turning the buggy, um, stop turning the, the flywheel, then you're going to lose power to the to the uh, CDI. As to where on a DC, as long as you've got it hooked up to a 12 volt source to your battery in the very beginning, and then you could go from wiring it there. As long as you've got it hooked up to a 12 volt source, you're going to have power going to your CDI. And as long as you got these three guys hooked up right, 
Like I said, you don't need this wire hooked up at all on a DC. You don't need this wire hooked up at all. On the, and this is, you don't need these, you don't need the green one. You don't need that position. So on a DC, you don't need that position there hooked up. And on a DC, you don't need that position, that bottom position hooked up. You don't need those at all. As where on an AC you do, okay? It's just more complicated on an AC. I would just suggest if you ever do get an AC unit, just convert it over to a DC. And that's how you that's how simple you do it. You just you just cut the wire right here. And then take this wire and cut it up the upstream a little bit and then run it to a DC source. And then replace your AC CDI with a DC CDI. This wire never runs anywhere. Okay, and then on, on this particular buggy here, you've got uh, on this red one here, on this red wire here, it goes to, I've got it, you can see how I've replaced the the, the harness here, with the tips here, because these are all jacked up with a new one. This is a black and white one on this one, and it runs up to this. You can see where the red one runs up to on this one here. It runs up to that position. And then the white one, is your trigger, um, is your, uh, uh, I don't want to tell you which one. Yeah, your white one here, which runs to a blue, it's normally a blue. You can see it's, this is it right here. It's a blue. Uh, let's see if I got it right. Make sure I don't want to tell you the wrong one right here. Usually when they come off the stator, they're a blue wire with a white line in them and of course this one changes out here at this plug in to a black and white and then i just i just run it right up to the to the cdi over here to the to where the uh, uh white wire runs up to in this position over here that position right there okay the green wire doesn't do anything. And this black one up here, the black one at the top is always a ground. So it makes it very simple. See, it goes right to your green wire. Just got it going to your green. That's your ground, always, always, always. So you got your ground, you got your power. Forget this one, forget this one. You got your trigger and you got your coil. That will get your buggy running. 